Good morning. Is there a sense of if you'll have Sidney Jones this weekend? Um, day to day, quite frankly. Um, optimistic that he'll play. So we're, we're going to see at the end of the day how he does and go from there. And do you want to see him working on the outside this week in practice? Um, I, I think we'll see him in both spots. Um, you know, Avante's done a nice job in the nickel, and he'll probably continue to work in there. But uh, you know, we'll just we'll just ease Sydney back in today and, and see see what he can do. Practice. He'll practice today. To clarify on, on Golden Tate, he was on the field at the end of the game in, in the up tempo situation. Was that just a different tactic? Yeah, because it was a, a couple end of the play games that or end of the play uh, end of the game plays that we had worked on. How about Tim Jerry again? Is he going to get in the mix this week? He'll do a little more, yes. Yeah. Um, still day to day. Um, optimistic, but we'll see. Yeah, the quite frankly. To uh, designate um, Richard Rogers, does that mean you know something about one of the other two that they won't Perk be has a knee injury and is going to miss uh, substantial time. Who's that? Perk. Oh, okay. Do you think Richard Rogers could play this, week, this weekend? Optimistic and, again, day to day. So How about when what is the your sense of your team having gone four and five and you know there's a lot of expectation, a lot of pressure, and now you know you guys have been underdogs before, but this is a remarkable sort of change in profile from week two or three to, to week you know nine or ten. What's your sense of your team right now? I feel really good about these guys. Um, you know, talking to the committee this morning, um, I asked them. Basically, that, that question: How do they feel? And uh, uh, they're all they're all disappointed, obviously, in in, in the performance the other day. Uh, it's, it is disappointing. It's a division game, and, and uh, we came up uh, we came up short. They're they're eager to get back on the practice field, and uh, they're excited for this week and this opportunity. I think I think they understand what's uh, what's in front of them. Um, they know that the, the sense of urgency in practice. You know, it's not a it's not a panic or. Uh, anything other than just a sense of urgency of understanding your job, doing your job, uh, doing it collectively, um, and and making sure that they just focus on one play, one play at a time. But I, I really do feel like they're in a, they're in a good place, and uh, they're positive about uh, the future. That was, that was something you excelled at last year as a team, sort of not only <clears throat> the next game, but the, the very next play. That's the only thing you focused on generally as a team all the way through. Have you seen this team have a, a greater difficulty of, of doing that, of sort of just wait, just sort of looking at the next step as opposed to the big picture? Well, I, you know, I, I can't. I don't think you focus on the on the on the whole. You got to focus on the slice. And and one of the things we haven't done a very good job this year is we haven't finished those plays, especially late in the games, uh, whether it be uh, you know the offense executing uh, a game-winning drive or the, or the defense finishing and, and getting an offense off the field, and and that's that's the right now that's that's the focus. We got to make sure that we continue to do that. You know, we saw it in the Jacksonville game. We were able to finish and complete that game, and then we had a letdown again this last week. So those are areas that uh, the team understands. Those are things I communicate with the guys, you know, on a daily basis, and uh, and that's our focus. And what's, your, what's your expectation for Darren Sproles this week? Huh? Darren Sproles' expectations? Uh, continue to rehab and train and get healthy. Doug, what do you what do you look for from the guys that kind of tells you that they're still? Uh, you know, uh, engaged and, and positive and, and in a good place, like you talked about. Like, what do you, what signs do you see? Um, I see signs of you know guys are in the building on time. I see how they practice. I see how they train. Uh, I see how we dialogue back and forth. Uh, all the things that we've uh, we've been able to do over over this uh, two and a half year period, and uh, you know those are all things that uh, that keep us positive and keep us motivated. They understand where they are and and and. Quite frankly, dug, dug ourselves a hole, and now it's just a matter of just climbing out and do it at one game at a time. In times like these, what are your expectations for the leadership group, your veteran leaders on the team? Well, I think I think it's with any uh, season, any game, any week. I, I you know I rely on those guys to, uh, to to bring bring the guys, especially the young guys, some of the young guys that are playing, uh, to make sure that they uh, understand the game plan. Uh, if they need to, you know, stay after and watch more tape or condition or whatever they do, that they, they grab those players and, and make sure that that they're leading by example, uh, more so than, than, than words or lip service. I, I think it's important that they they grab them and do it by uh, do it by example. So those are all the things that, that I expect, especially from, from the leaders of the team. Doug, what 
Doug, what are your frustration level with the way things have gone with this team this year? I, I imagine this is not what you expected in a four and five coming out of the game. Yeah, no, I mean it's uh, there, there's a level of frustration, but. Um, listen, it, it's we're very close. We're, we're so close in, in a lot of areas. I mean, you look at our out, you look at our output and our production offensively. We're very similar to where we were last year. I mean, we're you know plus thirty passes down the field, explosive passes. I think we're second in the National Football League. We're sixth at twenty plus explosive plays. Uh, third downs, we're within a percentage point or two of being where we were uh, a season ago. The difference is creating turnovers on defense and then scoring in the red zone. And that, that's kind of what's staring at us, you know, right in the face. And, you know, time of possession's good. All those things we look at, um, red zone defense has been, has been good throughout the season. Um, we've got we've to finish better, and, and we have to score more points. Would you say that even though your numbers are kind of similar to last year, the rest of the league, though, their numbers have gotten significantly better in one year. You're not keeping pace with the rest of the league. Are you saying all 31 teams? Just the, the mean of, yeah, the right full lead. Well, listen, I mean, there's there's teams every year that are going to be better. Offenses are going to be better. I mean, we strive to be better. Um, I don't quite get the question because, yeah, there's going to be teams your that are going to be – they're going to be better than us than and, they're, you know, we're, we're no, going to be – No, what I'm saying is the, I, I don't the lead get, numbers are a lot better offensively this year. If you look at red zone, if you look at all the th other – And those are the things I'm, I'm stating. Those are things that we are struggling in. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, those are the areas that we have to get better in. In order for us to be in that group, we have to get better in those areas. So the areas that you are struggling in, <coughs> could that be from just lack of concentration? And if so, could that be a lack of condition? Condition as in uh, mental condition yeah. or physical condition? Or I don't understand. Um, Sometimes, I mean, we get in the red zone, sense of urgency. Focus, laser focus, things we talk about. Yeah, it has, that, that has to that has to go up. Lanes get tighter, balls out fast. You know, we ask the quarterback to make good decisions. Obviously, we got to complete and catch and, and and do all things. The ability to run, um, and then and then have the ability to strike from from further out too. You know, uh, outside the thirty yard line. And uh, those are a couple things that, that we've got to continue to do. We strive it, <clears throat> strive at it each week and. Um, you know, it, it takes it takes everybody. You know, it's uh, if you get a breakdown in protection or you get a guy that doesn't get off bump and run. I mean, that's that's a uh, you know that's going to happen. But uh, collectively, we just got to get better. Uh, so, what I was meaning was like if you're just, sometimes if you're tired, you don't you don't you know function as well. You, True. That was my, my yeah, I, I mean, are we tired? Does it appear we're tired? Well, I, I, don't know. That's I, I don't think so. Yeah. You mentioned the offensive numbers uh, being very good, <laughs> and they have been. You know, Carson, Zach's historic. Uh, earlier in the season, we talked about shooting yourselves in the foot at times. It, that game against the Cowboys, no penalties, clean game. I, is it just a matter of maybe not getting the short field, not getting the turnovers? Is that is that? Well, I mean, that's yeah. I mean, that that all affects. I think uh, scoring. Um, you know, um, you look around the league and, and teams might get a, a big special teams return or a touchdown on special teams. Uh, defenses are, are, are creating turnovers or a pick six or a scoop and score. I mean, those all affect scoring. And those are things this season, if, if I had to sit, in, in, which I am standing here right now today, and say, hey, if there's an area that we need to improve, that's those are the areas. Um, you know, overall execution offensively has been has been there. Uh, we can we get better? Yeah. Defense can we finish better? Yeah. Can we tackle better? Yeah. Those are areas that that uh, um, that our guys understand and, and and need to need to do each week. On the Saints defense, what are some of your takeaways on uh, on the defense? Well, it's a multiple defense. They give you a lot of coverages. They present a lot of different looks. Um, you know they're they're pretty good against the run. However, you know it's kind of skewed a little bit because of the, you know they're they're scoring a you know at an astronomical rate. So they're uh, the teams are having to throw the ball. So it's a little different there. But they are a good run defense, uh, good third down defense. Um, you know we got some guys back there that we're familiar with, and Kirk Coleman and, and Eli Apple and and guys like that 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 we know. And um, <clears throat> I think Cam Jordan's a tremendous pass rusher, one of the one of the elite guys in this league. And so we have to be aware, and they'll line him up pretty much anywhere on the D-line. So um, it's a good defense. 
keep highlighting them. Lack of execution and, and not finishing as things that are causing the problems this season. Last year they, they were an issue. Last year you really excelled at those. So why do you think lack of execution and finishing is an issue this year compared to last year? Well, I, I you know I just know this as as an offense. I I, I need to teach better. Bottom line. Uh, you, uh, you used to meet with Carson uh, last year on third. Is that still going on? And what are those? Discussions? We're meeting more probably during the week than we are specifically on one night. What are some of those discussions uh, about? Uh, what are you guys going we over? We talk a lot about hunting, fishing, dinner, and then a little football. I mean, come on. I mean, we talk about football. We talk about plays. We talk about personnel. We talk about situational ball um, and and just game game situations, you know, just, just talk talk ball. Has he just expressed any frustration in the fact that, you know, here he is progressing rapidly in the year three that you guys haven't been able to capitalize on, on that? No, um, no, he's not. In fact, you know, he's he's probably the first one to tell you, you know, um, he'll take ownership when 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 there's a mistake made at, at his position, obviously, and and um, you know, and then at the same time, he continues to work with our guys, you know, out on the practice field and dialogue through routes and different things, and um, you know, it's a sign of a sign of a good team when players are doing that and and, and really making a conscious effort to get better there. So, when you look at Drew Brees, I mean, obviously he's been good for a long time. And like, you know, what what is he doing this year that kind of, you know, keep, you know, his completion percentage is like incredible. He's only throwing one interception, you know, et cetera. Like, what, what, is, what is he still doing? Why is he so at this year? Well, you know, one of the things that he's always done a really good job, and I think this year especially is, is he's getting the ball out of his hand. Um, you know, he, he's checking it down to a back. He's you know, a tight end in the flat. You know, uh, if, if the big play, the big shot play might be there. Michael Thomas might be running down the field, but he might have a little pressure, and so he just dumps it out, and there's there's Kamara, or there's Ingram, or, you know, there's Ben Watson or somebody like that. That That's that's how he's he, he's, he's playing the game. He's staying ahead of the chains, and uh, uh, he's done a really good job of that. And some of it's by play design, you know, uh, how they scheme a defense. Um, to get guys open, and, and uh, that, that comes with Coach Payton and the offensive staff, you know, Coach Carmichael and those guys, and um, they're doing a real good job of it. And, you know, he, he's been around the block. You know, he's, he's a smart quarterback. He's he's seen just about every defense out there, so uh, you're not going to be able to fool him too much. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thanks, guys.